Hello everyone. Most news sources when talking about the war in Ukraine are describing the critical period we are now in. It need not have been this critical had the aid come sooner, but what's done, it's done. What happened has happened. So what are the questions and the topics. All eyes right now are focused on Kharkiv region in the northeast of Ukraine. Uh, we talked about the importance of Kharkiv strategically and um, well, emotionally to the people of Ukraine. But what is unclear to quite a lot of people is um, Putin's ultimate goal with the offensive in the direction of Kharkiv. First of all, Kharkiv is in a very um, vulnerable position. It's super close to the uh, border uh, with uh, Belgorod right across there. And uh, so that makes it an easy target uh, for shelling. And you can see there's a really great little map over there. Um, at the bottom of the screen showing you exactly where it is and why it is in such a vulnerable position now um here's something interesting though um i know the name of belgorod had appeared many times in the news in conjunction with this war and belgorod has been crucial because it too is close to the border from the russian side uh, as a meeting point for the troops, uh, for the supplies, for the weapons, and so on. And, of course, it's also uh, a very handy place from which to shoot at Ukraine. And, um, apparently, people in Belgorod are upset when Ukraine shoots back. Now, we talked about this before. First of all, there's been a lot of fakes by Russia about the extent of damage to Belgorod. So it is unclear what the situation there actually is. But second, we also know Ukrainians have been extremely careful in doing their best to only hit military targets. That said, there are going to be some casualties. The big difference between Russia and Ukraine, you can actually tell in how the aim is taken. When Ukraine hits something, they immediately, almost immediately, post videos, pictures, as much as information as possible to show what, what's going on. Russians post uh, emotional videos, faked videos, faked pictures, and so on and so forth. So, knowing that, I have sort of very little pity for Belgorod right now. My concern is far more for the people of Kharkiv. Now, this was kind of adorable. So, the conversation was about whether the current offensive is with the purpose of recapturing Kharkiv or establishing what Putin was calling a buffer zone inside Ukraine basically creating a, not just a, a location, but a zone, a band, uh, from which to launch more Russian troops farther into Ukraine. And this highlighted bit, to me, was kind of cute, um, saying that, um, you know, uh, Putin's statement that there are no plans to recapture Kharkiv right now should be taken with a grain of salt because he doesn't always tell the truth. I think that part is kind of an understatement of the century. One would be hard-pressed to find out when he is telling the truth. So, personally, if I were a military leader, I would be assuming the worst-case scenario. Russians have captured Kharkiv early in this war. Ukrainians took it back rather spectacularly. They've whooped a lot of ass at that point. So 
I wouldn't be surprised at all if that sat very poorly with Russians because they were humiliated in every way possible. So I don't care what they say. I would assume they want to retake Kharkiv and go from there. There is more saber rattling from Moscow about the Western aid for Ukraine. They're saying West is playing with fire. What the fuck does that even mean anymore? What are you going to do? They're saying that they're not going to leave um, such actions unanswered. The actions in question being supplying Ukraine with the middle and long range missiles. Uh, that allow Ukrainians to strike objects within Russia. But let's not forget, Ukrainians were kind of already working on their own way to strike objects within Russia by using drones. So it can do that anyway. They didn't need Western aid for that. I mean, it's nice to have. I'm sure they're going to use those missiles for some other things. But again, what are you going to do? What does that mean? You're not going to leave that unanswered. What does that even mean? mean you're gonna start a nuclear war try this is not 1950s this is not 1960s okay once again a reminder the entire world is being watched by satellites and the moment a russian nuclear warhead so much as pokes out of its silo there's gonna be hell to pay it, it's not all bad. There ha has been some positive news. First of all, uh, Britain said that it's starting to target uh, the collaboration between Russia and North Korea, their arms for oil exchange, by introducing harder sanctions um, against companies involved and at least one individual involved. I'm not saying it's the best solution, but it's something... You know, it's nice to see at least somebody's acknowledging, yes, we have terrorist states. Yes, they are collaborating with one another. They're doing this. So, let's at least show, show some, some, some kind of repercussion for this. Russians continue pummeling Kharkiv. Uh, there's some casualties, very likely civilians. However, Ukraine was once again able to deal a huge drone strike against Russian military bases in Crimea, uh, as well as an oil refinery in South Russia. So that is all good news indeed. Uh, based on what I've read about the Crimean attack, the damage is serious. And I'm right. Because that is confirmed through satellite imagery. And remember, I told you this many times. Satellite imagery is becoming extremely important uh, when it comes to fact-checking. Russia can say whatever they want. Uh, it, specifically, the uh, Russian-installed um, official in Crimea said that all of the Ukrainian uh, projectiles have been destroyed. Well, once again, apparently, um, they used... Uh, jets and buildings to destroy those drones and once again you know i don't know if russia is even hoping that anybody would feel sympathy for them but if they do have such a hope those kinds of lies that are immediately debunked using basic technology basic for this day and age it's not helping their case when they're not lying about uh, shooting down Ukrainian drones, they are destroying their own property. Uh, airport in Russia's Mineral Nevode uh, caught on fire, allegedly during construction work. Again, I don't care why it caught fire. If they want to keep setting fire to their own airports and keep dropping bombs on their own cities, fine with me.